Hey everybody, it's Catherine from My Preppy Style, and today I'm here with a haul. I don't think I've done a haul since, like, I think maybe like winter or either, maybe even like summer. Um, but I'm going off to school in the fall and I decided I needed some more basics. So this haul is really, really specific. It's shorts, dresses, and shoes. So I have like four pairs of shorts, like six or seven dresses, and like three pairs of shoes. Um, from American Eagle, Lulu's, and... Uh, Soul Society. Hoping that this will feed your shopping addiction and let's get started. So American Eagle will be first. I actually just went there yesterday. Um, they were having sh all shorts $25 and then I had a 20% off coupon from clicking on a giveaway sort of thing. I didn't win but they gave me like a consolation prize of like 20% off. So my mom and I went mainly the purpose that she thinks all of my shorts are too small for me. So um, I sized up like two sizes for most of these shorts and I'm hoping that like if I gain the freshman 15 I'll fill them out a little more. It's just ma mainly in the waist because my mom seems to think that I am super thick and I have like an hourglass figure which I don't think I'm thick at all. No one's ever told me I have a big butt and that's usually something pe people are pretty vocal about but she seems to think so. So um, these are the first pair. I wanted a light medium dark wash and then I also got a pair of like chinos kind of. So these um, are shorties and they're a little bit distressed. Not much to say about them, you can see them in the clip, but um, the back of them cuts up a lot. You can see through the pocket here that it's really slim. Um, but I think these are flattering in that they're short and not like unflattering, so those are great. So these are going to serve as my medium wash pair. They have some striping you can see here that's actually not like, it looks kind of like they're wrinkled. But this is just uh, the print itself. So um, they, all of the shorts I got pretty much are like roll up kind. So um, you can roll them down or roll them up. Um, and these are just, uh, they're really, really stretchy, which are nice. Um, they're low rise and uh, I think they just fit really nicely. The hug, they hug all the right places. So two pairs down. So I wanted a pair of super dark wash that were also um, shorts, like short, short, like shorty style, I guess they're called. Um, I couldn't find any that were normal rise, so I had to get the high rise. And I'm not a fan of high rise just because I already have long legs, so I feel like it just makes me look weird. Um, but most of the time I don't even wear crop tops, so you can't even tell this is high rise really. Uh, but just super dark indigo wash. They're also rolled up at the bottom. And uh, the pockets are real, unlike some other pairs they have there. Uh, but it does sit at a nice place on the waist, um, so I could potentially wear, like, a shorter shirt with it, and I think it would look fine. Last pair are these stretch kind of, uh, forget about, like, khaki material. Um, they're midi, so they hit a little lower, and I'm sorry, and, like, I'm wearing the same color, basically. It's a little, this is a little more pink than this, uh, top, but, so, in the video, it looks like it's just all blended in, blending in, but, um, they are really, really cute. They don't have actual pockets, they're just those normal chino kind. And you roll them up, roll them down, however you want it. I think they fit pretty nicely. You can thumbs up if you agree. These are my last pair from American Eagle. I went to Francesca's Collections. It's kind of like a boutique sort of store. They carry a lot of um, preppy kind of fashion. So I went there to get um, some semi-formal dresses for graduation events. And I found some really, really cool stuff. I wish I could just wipe out the entire store. Um, I'm definitely going back. I subscribed to the mailing list to see when they have... Um, discounts but this first one here has this cool neckline to it um, and it's also this cool sort of not like scuba material but uh, it is this uh, you can see in the video better but just this kind of uh, mesh sort of material this high back I think the waistband is just really nice and it pulls in and then that flares out really really flatteringly so I think this was something around um, $40 but they actually had a student discount so I got 10% off everything which was really, really nice Next I have a dress that I completely fell in love with and if you've seen my baccalaureate outfit of the day I um, wore this to a music performance that was kind of like a senior class all the musicians who have any talent um, got to perform so I performed in Brass Quintet and we did a bunch of like movie arrangements so uh, I wore that to that so the, it's, on, it's in my outfit of the day but I just love this print and I think the cut is super flattering even though it's a little shorter than I'd like I have to just compromise on those kind of things because everything's basically short on me if it's not a long size um, but I really, really like it. It's just this nice mint color, um, and I think it's a piece that can be dressed up or dressed down, and, uh, it's just unlike anything else I've ever seen, so I decided I picked it up, and the neckline is just a simple scoop. 
Then I'm actually wearing these, so you'll see them in the video, but they're just these uh, shorts that are kind of a uh, seersucker pattern. Um, they're about $28, I want to say, and I got them a size bigger than I'd like, but apparently you're supposed to wear them loose. I just don't like loose stuff because it makes me feel like I'm naked if there's like not clothing touching my body directly. Um, but I think they're really cute, uh, again, really versatile, and I think they'll work well. Also from Francesca's, they're most known for their jewelry, honestly. Their jewelry is really great. I'm not one to, to wear statement necklaces, but I needed one for graduation just because I think it steps up an outfit. And the lady helped me pick out this one, and I never would have picked this out with the, um, the teal, if you want to see here. I wore this outfit together, and um, the necklines just went perfectly together. And I'm really hoping I can wear these over blouses and stuff um, because I am going to business school. I will be wearing suits a lot. So I will, it hangs about here. I will need some more statement necklaces and I definitely think I'll be going back to Francesca's. Um, I think this was close to 20-ish. I'm not exactly sure, but it really just depends what time of year you go there. Next, I ordered online from Lulu's and I got a ton of dresses. And in hindsight, all the clips you're about to see, um, the dresses are a little too small on me. So I got smalls in all of them, which... For some reason, I have like this weird concept that I'm still a small, and I guess I'm not. So, um, I'll have to reorder the ones I want in mediums. But this first one is just really, really unique. And they have this kind of in another style um, that's not uh, just completely like a sheath dress. But it's just cool, like spider webbing. Um, and they have this in a few different colors, but I thought, I don't have anything in purple. So, um... I probably will end up belting it just because I'm really not comfortable with things being just loose. I think it's not super flattering on me, but I do like this, and I don't think I need to size up in this one, so um, I'll try that on a couple more times, and also let me know if you think I should keep it, like, if you think I can pull it off. It's a little bit outside of my style, so, um, but I, I, it looked cool, like, it looks cool, so... Next, I got a little black dress, and this one's definitely too small for me. I couldn't even zip it up all the way in the back, but it is strapless. And it has kind of this, like, uh, like, gluey material. I don't, I don't even know how to explain it. It's just this, like, yeah, it's just a weird material um, that keeps it up. Um, but it's a little black dress, and I just like the cut of it. Um, it kind of, it's, you. this is one that's great for a try-on haul, because you really cannot tell what it is. But it's just got a lot of loose fabric. Um, and I think I need to size up on this one, because, first of all, the back didn't zip up. And second of all, that, like, there's, like, a little gap between the two flaps of black. If you're watching the video right now, you can see. It does have pockets, which is really convenient. So I'm going to think about this. And all these dresses were a little pricey, um, but a lot of them were on sale. So they're still on the website if you want to check them out. Next, Hello Katie featured this in a haul about two months ago. And whenever Katie features something, for some reason I always want to order it. Um, her style is just so wearable. So um, this one was out of stock when she was talking about it, but now it was back in stock, and I need to size up on this one, unfortunately, but I do love it. Uh, it needs to be ironed. I didn't iron it for the video because it's not my dress yet, um, but it does have this, like, bodycon skirt underneath, and then just this flap here, and I just think it's a cool dress. Um, I love the color. Uh, I just, I just really like the way it fits, but yeah, the back was a little too low, so I couldn't show you that. Um, my bra was showing, but um, it's just a cool cut really like it. it. reminds me of Cinderella. Then I got a dress that I thought would be good for going out. Um, going out in college, you feel. Uh, but it's just this cool red dress. And it has two straps in the front that then crisscross in the back. And um, so that cuts around here. You can see it in the video. And then uh, it's just this kind of like skort looking thing. They have a bunch of stuff like this at Zara. Um, but it, yeah. It's like a score, and it's really, really tight, so I definitely need to size up in this one again. But, um, I think it's, like, pretty, like, I don't like bodycon stuff a lot, but I think this one is better than most. And I think the red is just super, just kicks it up a notch. So I could get in black. Let me know if you think that'd be a better option. Then I ordered from an online site called Soul Society. I tried this place once before and kind of had, like, mediocre results, so um, I needed some sort of formal shoes. The ones I got from Urban Outfitters in a haul, I think I did it about a year ago, did not hold up. Um, they really just were not breathable, and they just... Uh, no. I wanted some black flats, so I chose these. And they're a little bit weird because like they're sheer there, but then they have like that black toe. So I'm not sure if I like the shape too much. 
Um, but I do think that uh, they will be cool, and I think that they would go well with suits and kind of play them up since they're not like super simple. And I think these were on sale for like twenty dollars. The next, Julianne Huff had a Huff Huff. I think it's Huff had a collection for Soul Society, and she had these really cool flats. They're pointy toe, but then they have um, a bow in the back, so they're sling back. Um, and they're also suede, which are like my favorite. And so you always need just a pair of like nude flats or nude pumps. Um, note, I actually don't know how to wear heels yet. In all my years of living, being 5'10 kind of prohibited me from wanting to wear heels. So um, flats have always been my buddies. But I think these are cute because even though they're flat, they still are a little bit um, more elegant. But these are also like $20, and they're all final sale because they were so discounted that they were just like, you can't return them. So I'm stuck with all these, but it's good because I like this pair a lot, even though they have a little bit of what my friend Sarah calls toe cleavage, where like my, my toes are really long, like I have finger toes, so you can see like a little bit out, but I don't think that's a problem. So yeah. Another pair from her collection are these kind of coral loafers, and they have this really cute kind of summery pattern to them. Um, they're also suede. I really like these. Um, I usually don't order shoes like this, but I thought um, most of my shoes were neutral colored, and I realized that having a cute, cute pair to wear with like summer dresses are nice. So I got these, and I think that they're nice because they're accented, and um, hopefully all three of these will be um, breathable. They have um, leather inside here, and then the sole is just this kind of uh, durable plastic kind of? Yeah, anyway. I really do like these and all the shoes I got, so um, I would recommend Soul Society um, as a online shop. So yeah, that concludes my first ever try on haul. Actually, I don't think that's true. I think I had a try on haul from like for like American Eagle jeans like last year. So I've been doing try on hauls for a little longer, um, but I definitely think they make sense. It's just kind of like an outfit of the week lookbook, but for your hauls. So please give this a thumbs up and subscribe if you did like this video and like try on hauls. And I'll be sure to do more um, as I start getting more and more clothes for back to school. Even though my dorm wardrobe closet is not going to be, you know, big enough, I'm still racking up clothes like no other. See you in my next video. Cather out.